Okay, sweet boy. You ready? You ready for some riddies? <laughs> You're <laughs> A cruel witch keeps a princess imprisoned. <laughs> Ooh, that's when you know that witch is for real. When she got the laugh down and that crooked nose, that European curve. <laughs> and teeth just like me. <laughs> Prince Robert decided to help her escape. The only chance to get into the castle is, I guess through the pointy thing on the left, when the witch goes to the woods to collect some herbs for a nice soup. But each day, the witch goes away at a different time. The princess has sent him an encrypted message. Ted only drinks apple yogurt to win onions, okay? You're gonna have to pull that apart with your tiny brain and figure out how to get me out of here. I already know the answer. What? Yeah. Do you want to keep going and then I'll tell you after? I think you should. Uh, is it today at two? Yeah. <laughs> two <laughs> day. Two day two. at a two. What if you're wrong? Well, then what if he comes like at the wrong time? What if she meant like 2 a.m. when the witch is sleeping, he comes 2 p.m. Oh, and then she kills them oh, both. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, well, oh, 2 a.m. Cassie, or 2 oh. Okay, okay, Cassie, Cassie. What? Get it together. Okay, Get it okay. together. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. an encrypted uh, thing oh, about the oh, witches. Oh, yeah. Uh, Prince J, can you decode it and save me? What time are you coming? Yes, I can, my princess. Ted only drinks apple yogurt to win onions. You want me to rescue today at two? Oh, but that's wrong. I mean, it's right. Good for you. Yes, for I am Prince <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Which will go to the woods at 2. We don't know 2 a.m. or 2 p.m., but what can you do? Anna told her daughter Rose not to go out with her boyfriend. Listen, you little hoe. You can't tell me what to do, Mom. In the evening, she saw Rose running away with him again. Anna followed the... Oh, she is creepy. She's she is a crazy around. Asian mom. <laughs> but lost sight of them for a while. Anna turned to the corner and saw three houses. Where's Rose? Is it the one where the shoes are outside? Well, you know what? In Asian culture, you know this. Sometimes, you know, you put the shoes outside before you walk in, but I just saw another house with shoes outside. Mm -hmm. So my theory is out the window. Uh Oh yeah, there's, wait, okay. So it can't be this one because this is just a bunch of guy shoes. All right. I think it's the first house because it's high heels. Oh, I don't remember what shoe she was wearing. Oh, Are they my oh. high heels? Oh, it's this house. Oh, oh, why didn't oh. you pause it? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't more, realize more, more. she was wearing some pink Air Force Ones, okay? <laughs> One rich and cunning millionaire found out. Oh, you mean you? Me. I found out that my family member was planning to kill me. Great. I got all of them together for Christmas dinner. Ooh, I love everyone. Christmas dinners. I know you love a little turkey lurky, a little stuffing. I love putting anything in that turkey hole. I know I like getting stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with us? I don't know. More specifically, what is wrong with you? Me? Everything's Yo. wrong with you, not me. Okay. Keep, keep the riddles going. Okay, okay. What is this turning into? <laughs> so, I'm this millionaire, okay? Somebody's gonna kill me. Somebody in my family. I had a bunch of people over to question them in a relaxed atmosphere so they won't know. But I knew that the killer would lie mm -hmm. while the innocent ones would tell the truth one of you's going to kill me i know exactly who it is i'm fibbing i'm fibbing but give you a chance to confess all right i'm giving you a chance granny will kill you your wife is going to kill you don't listen to your mother She's a liar. Okay, my wife is calling my own mother a liar. I do not like that one bit. Yeah, I don't like that at all. You always got to respect the moms. Who is planning the murder? Yeah, you got to say murder that way. You got to say the murder. The murder. Oh, who's going to murder me? <laughs> who's going to murder me today? I think I know who's going to murder me. Who do you think? Okay, don't listen to your mother. She's a liar. That's what the wife said. Yes. Granny said, your wife is going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And the little girl said, Granny will kill you. So each of them is blaming the other. Nobody is like pointing at like two people and everyone has some blame from the other person, right? Because wait, the wife is saying the mom's a liar. Yes. And then the mom is saying that the wife is going to kill her. So the wife is saying, that's a lie. I'm not going to kill you. But then the granny isn't denying anything that the little kid said, which is, Granny will kill you. 
So is it the granny? I think it's the wife because these two are consistent in that they're just blaming somebody and this girl is saying no she's a liar and she's not blaming anybody she's not saying oh like, she's not oh. denying it yeah she's not she's not saying like oh the do your daughter is gonna do it okay you know what I'm going with killer granny you going with a uh, fed up wife fed up wife who blames the mom like you can't tell even if the mom is planning to kill you can't I don't actually like mom. that but I'm going granny just cuz you know no, um, it's gotta be wife, Jay. You can change your answer. You've got five seconds. What if it's the kid? I might go kid. No, no. Mom. No, I want it mom. to be the kid. Okay, I'm going granny. I'm going granny. His yeah! mother. No, why? If she was telling the truth, the wife would be lying. Yeah, only one of them is lying. But in yes. that case, the daughter would also be telling a lie. Yes, because the little girl said granny's a killer. And then the wife said, no, your mom is lying. So they were both telling the truth. I resent that, and I resent your correct answer. I have to make up for it. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you? No, 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 thank you. Well, I'm thanking anyway. Somebody accept <laughs> it. I'm throwing a thank you out there. Somebody come catch it and take it. If you're traveling with your friend around the enchanted islands... Then I'm gonna broke back mountain him. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> witches appeared in the sky. <laughs> they kidnapped your friend. Oh, oh no, my, not my friend! <laughs> And took him to their island. No more For enchanted island. For epic gangbang! <laughs> you have to get to their castle at night. Oh, this one's gonna be uh, gnarly. He's like, how am I getting over there? I'm getting a new friend. <laughs> there are some animals in the magical forest. Unicorns? Okay, so who are we gonna ride? A unicorn? A pegasus? He's got wings, so that gives him points. It's gotta be pegasus. Or a griffin. A griffin? Bro! Which okay, animal griffins, you they just look sick. Like, I feel like they can get up there and just peck all the witches to death. The pegasus, I feel like it would fly up there and then, like, I don't know, just, like, leave you there so you're up there forever. I feel like a griffin would be by your side forever. Uh, what, what is the unicorn gonna do? He can't jump that high. No, or he, can they? he's not. He's not the choice. He can't even fly. He's useless. This is the only situation where a unicorn is useless. Yeah, sorry, unicorn. Just get out the picture. Okay, but you could argue that a pegasus being a horse and all could be more domesticated than a griffin. Like, the griffin might just attack you with his flaming tail. And what is that on the arm? Oh, is that a flower? Never mind. I thought that was a bandage around the arm. A wounded <laughs> griffin. Like an injured griffin. You can't ride him. It's like a trick question. You know what? Okay. I'm gonna go with pegasus. They just look so majestic. I'm gonna go with Griffin, and I think what? I'm right. I was gonna go with Griffin, and then you talked me out of it. You said he was gonna attack me with his flaming tail. I think that the Griffin is kind of, he's like a little bad guy. And even if the witch tries to like get him to listen, the Griffin ain't gonna listen. So he's kind of like a Charizard? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like when he's like a high level? And like the witch okay. could offer the Pegasus a carrot, and he'd be like, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And he would listen. All right, so I'm Griffin, Jay is Pegasus. Fine. Right? No, what do you mean You just want to be right because I got that last riddle right. Okay, do you want to switch? I'll be Pegasus, you be Griffin? No, 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 no. I'm sticking with Pegasus. Okay, I'm Griffin, Jay is Pegasus. Now you got to ask the commenters. You're going to be like, <laughs> what would you do? What would you do, guys? Would you choose the Pegasus? Would you choose the Griffin? Or would you choose the epic and just, I don't even know what else I'm saying, unicorn? <laughs> Lolly, yeah, leave a comment. Let Jay know Lawless. he's invested. Ah! It can fly over the sea. Wait, why can't Pegasus? Is? Sisses. Why can't Pegasus is, 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 is do that? And the witches won't see it in the night sky because they don't have night vision. Is why? This because like... he's black. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's because he's black. Are you trying to say that, like, uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's not go down that road. <laughs> oh, because it's black. Oh, no. Let's go down no. that road. <laughs> you have just arrived at the witch's castle. This is the riddle part two. Oh, nice. An extension. I love extensions. Your friend is in the dungeon. Oh, he's I'm so coming sad. for you, baby. <laughs> I'm coming for you, sweetheart. There is a narrow passage leading to the dungeon. A giant wolf guards the passage. Where did he come from? You can use one of these magic artifacts. A cell oh. phone? A, a cell phone, a blanket. <laughs> Magic woo. A mind reading gadget, an invisibility cloak. He'll still smell you. Or a teleportation yeah. device. Yeah, I was gonna say that about the cloak. I remember that you mentioned that a werewolf could just probably smell through that when we had yeah. to choose an option before. Uh, knowing what the werewolf is thinking isn't gonna help you at all. I know, he's like, oh, he's gonna attack me if I get near. I definitely needed this mind reading device to know that. So we're definitely gonna teleport to save our friend. Yeah, because you just grab him and then BAM, you're out of there. <laughs> the mind reading gadget can't help you, duh. You grab the teleportation device, 
and just grab your friend and go, ba -ba bam! Yeah, exactly. Washing! That's what I would do. Oh, yeah, I like, I like wishing. John will turn 16 in 2020. Jack will be 17. Yet both are what? grandfathers. No! Boy. <laughs> no. All right. Can we get these pedos out of here? I'm 16. Want to meet up? And will be the same age as their grandchildren? Wait, is this, is this part three of the witch riddle? Do they turn these two grandpas into 16 <laughs> and 17 year olds? I'm 16. You oh. Oh, you're 13. So am I. He's fallen asleep. He's on his deathbed. Anyways, they're gonna be the same age as their grandchildren. How is this possible? They were born on uh, leap day. That doesn't, does that actually make them 16 and 17? I have no idea, but it's once every four years, right? So let's yeah. see here. They're four years old when they're technically one, unless that happens to fall on a leap year, their first birthday. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Okay, so it's just like a four times 16 kind of thing, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, Jay's 52, doing math. 64. They can't be looking okay. that old for 64. Or can I? Yeah, oh, you can. Trust me. I think that the leap year thing is the best possible conclusion. I'm taking it. All right. Let's do leap, it. Year. leap 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 year. Answer. Answer. They're leap year oh! The only reason why I know that is because I remember in school, somebody was born on a leap day. They were getting made fun of that they were actually way younger than they were. But people who are born on like leap day, they actually just celebrate it either the next day or the day before. At least from the person that I knew. Just a random fact that nobody cares about. The day before yesterday, Jay was 25 years old. The next year, Jay's gonna turn 28. Ah, oh, they grow up so fast. How is this possible? The day before yesterday. Why does that matter? Maybe he's Korean. They, I mean, they like they do age differently. Oh, I thought you meant like those like celebrities where they're like they're actually like 26, but they have to say like they're 21. <laughs> yeah, he's 25 <laughs> on famous birthdays, but. You know. <laughs> okay, wait. No, what is the significance of? of the, the riddle saying the day before yesterday. What is the significance of that, Cassie? Uh, so the day before yesterday, he was 20, he turned 25 though. And then immediately the next year he turned 28. Yeah. What? So then yesterday he was 25 already? Yeah. I'm so confused. <laughs> How about he lied? Yeah, let's just say he's a good for nothing liar. <laughs> we can't figure this one out. We're, we're not very smart. We're, let's just say he's a social media star. The day before yesterday was December 30th, 2016. I was 25. And... <laughs> get this riddle out of my face. Yeah, get it out of here. Get it out of here! Get it, get it out of here! The night shift have been finishing a multi-story building, but every night one of the workers falls down from that height. The workers asked a detective to find out the reason. He questioned the neighbors. John, a student. I work nights and come home at 7 a.m. I haven't ever seen them working. Mrs. Ashley, a former actress. She's got, she thinks she's still super hot. I'm tired of this and just want to let them complete the building as soon as possible. <laughs> Though it will spoil this beautiful skyline. Mr. Peters, a psychologist. I believe this place is haunted. I see flashing lights every night. Who kills the workers? That guy in the middle definitely believes in ufos 100 percent. so this guy thinks it's haunted unlucky yeah this guy works the night shift so he hasn't seen them working because he works at night and this lady is just like uh, <laughs> mm. so, um sweet old lady sweet old lady on a motorized cart who kills the workers yeah. i think it's whoever lives in that middle house because they shine the light that is above that house and then it blinds the people up there and they fall to their death. They're like, oh! Okay, it's the, gra it's the granny. It's the granny. Okay. She's, she's she lives blinding in that house? them. She's evil. She's evil. So you gotta you gotta say it with, from the chest, you know? Evil! Evil! Oh, that was, that, that was like a bark. Yeah? That, no. <laughs> oh, oh, I felt like oh. other dogs were about to start barking from that. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Ashley did it. Mr. Peters said that he saw flashing lights. She directs the spotlight up on the roof, blinds them, they fall right down. A five-year-old Ellie was kidnapped. No, not the five-year-olds. No. The police identified three suspects and came to search their apartments. Here's Sandra. This is her apartment. Look at it very closely. Alec. Okay, so there's Alec. He's got like a toy in the background. Maybe he... 
or Dorothy. Oh, I see it. Ah, uh, Dorothy, you dirty, dirty dog. What is with these evil grandmas today? <laughs> okay, evil granny. Well, where's the body at? <laughs> oh, okay, that is just Why so... is there a bloody five-year-old handprint? Alex wants to impress his grandkids, so he invented a heroic story and told it to them. Let me tell you a story from my army days. Ooh, hi, Grandpa. <laughs> 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 I stood at my post. It was a hot and windless day. Everything was still and peaceful. Suddenly, I heard the rustling of leaves in the forest to my left. I suspected there were enemies. I warned the guys to get ready to fight off an attack. Guys, help! There's rustling in the bushes! <laughs> and on the other side, I saw a ship approaching. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, it's a big old ship! I figured out the ship was moving towards us by the waving flag on its mast. Who's that? Grandpa, you're lying. How did she guess he was lying? <laughs> what? Girl, yeah. respect your elders, all right? Nobody's no, lying no, here. He's a liar. He's a liar. I know that you're in love with this grandpa, but he is a liar. Okay, is it because the flag is the same? No. Oh, wait, you see it right now from this image? Yes. What? Yeah. You got, like, great eyes then, because I don't see anything <laughs> but the flag. You have to be able to see it. Okay, what is it? Is that water that the ship is on? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the water. Oh, okay. Can I get a hint, please? It was a peaceful day with no wind. Oh. Well, now I know. The, the flag is waving in the wind. But... Okay, Cassie, it's gonna create wind regardless because it's moving in a direction. Oh, well, the flag should be facing this way then. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> On a windless day, the flag <laughs> couldn't be waving, you lying old sack of garbage. You lying old dirty, wrinkly, bald grandpa. <laughs> Which grandma is the killer? The, both oh, of these no, grandmas both ugly. are... Yeah, they're really just scary. They're both hideous. Right they could both be killers. Their face <laughs> are killers. Okay, so Grandma Strawberry making a cake. Or... Or Grandma Commando with the bullets around her neck. <laughs> with, with the, with the, uh, the old garden shears. And a broken cup Oh, is that of what it is? I thought it was like a, like a Swiss army knife or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which, which one's the killer? I honestly would be more intimidated by B. I would be more intimidated by A. You know why? why? Because no. she's got grenades in her freaking kitchen. Oh, she got grenades. <laughs> <laughs> she got grenades in her kitchen. I, well, I, you know the, you know I'm scared of B? Why? Because she looks like she's drinking a cup of blood. <laughs> <laughs> like she drinks cups of blood for breakfast. <laughs> no! Comments. Everybody, tell me who's a killer granny. I think it's A. I think I know it's B. I don't think it's B. I know it's B. No, it's A. God, J. Why can't we ever agree on anything anymore? I don't Just know. Just come to the B side. The B side? No, I want to come to the cub side. Let's go to your channel to... and do more. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a great segue to over to my channel. <laughs> that's a great segue to over to my channel. Yeah, I, English, guys. Jay, they're still here. Make them go. You know what? All right. If they don't go, I'm about to get the belt. You better go. <laughs> I got the remote here. I'm going to whoop you if you don't go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> then they're going to be like, Cub Scout scandal. Would beat little kids. <laughs> they don't watch this channel.